everybody. We're on the central campus of Central Piedmont Community College, as always. Here's a look at the belt building. I'm sure you guys may know what's inside there. You can probably see it right now, actually. Before we step inside, let's get you a nice view of the central campus quad. Real quick. So anyways, for those who watch my videos often and have seen them in the past, you may know that this belt building has some rather interesting Dover elevators in here. Probably some of the smallest I've ever ridden in. Well, let's do an update on them elevators. The reason I'm doing an update is because something has changed around them just a little bit. Of course, there they are. Yes, they were modernized back in the end of 2013 or early 2014. First the cabs were renovated and then they modernized the fixtures. Before the end of 2013, these used to still had their original floor counters in the lobby, Dover floor counters. And in 2009 or 2008, they were, I think they were, um, they had to receive a modernization when this building got renovated. And for some reason, I don't understand it. You know, these elevators on the insides, they had, when they were modernized when the, with the renovation of this building, they had very, very nice MAD BS fixtures installed with the blue halos and everything. And for some reason, they got ripped out and replaced with PTL Centurions, which are not all that great in my opinion. But anyways, let's go and do a retake. We'll be starting with the left elevator. Get you a can view. LED lights. Let's have a listen. Let's step out. Hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. I want to close up because I want to show you guys something. Good, we didn't lose it. Let's quickly step in. Press one. Okay, it does close the doors that time. But what this one does sometimes is usually the doors close right away when you press a button, but there's sometimes where you'll just there'll be this delay and the doors won't close right away. Anyways, I don't want to keep riding it up and down over and over again. But what I'll do is I'll send it up on the floor. Well, we may get this one again, I don't know. They're both down here. <laughs> okay. Well, do this one. Of course the fan is on in this one and it's a little under level. You can see the original blue. Let it close. And we're still sitting here. Haven't sent it nowhere yet. I do like the modernization. Except for what they've done with these. The mad BS fixtures look much nicer than with this cab, I think. Okay, let's set it up. Button's already out. Step out and let's get you a view outside. I 
to put, had to put the camera up against the glass so you get the best view. It's kind of chilly out there. Of course, you can see the reflection from the glass. Yeah, we got a little bit of a roof leak here, it looks like. Yeah, I, didn't, I don't remember seeing that last time. <clears throat> yeah, this building was renovated. Right about the same time, the Health Careers was added onto the side of it. Yes, this building um, is originally from the 70s, but they added in a second building called the Health Careers Building. Added onto this building, really, and they renovated this side when they built that new section on. So, take this one back down. Yeah, it's a little over level up here. Instant door close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this one up and try to get the other one one more time. See if I can replicate what it does sometimes. Because I'm going to do a re another update video on the Tissom Cup elevators up front. Now, let's get this one real quick. Five. There you go. Where's that delay? Yeah, these don't classic level like the elevator in the trail building does. But yeah, that one there sometimes, if you if you get on it from the first floor, it doesn't immediately close the doors when you press a button. Kind of strange. And it's only that one that does it. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little update video. That's it.